Uh-oh, that did not look promising. Nope, that is Rise of the Resistance. Oh. We can get milk and a pastry while we're in line. Alright, Splash Mountain looks like it's 20 for now. Well, that makes sense because one, it's cold, and two, it's drizzly. But still, it's like almost the final day. Well, like, people typically say that for when it gets warmer. Everybody okay, but like, it's not going to come back when it's warmer. It's like, not going to get any warmer than people this. People don't want to get wet when it's cold. I will proudly sit in the front row and get soaked. I, yeah, that's that's you. That's this that's thing is this thing is built for uh, getting wet. Good for you. Oh, it's great. Anyway, what is up? <laughs> hey gamers, what's up? We're doing a tour of Disneyland right now. <laughs> Never done before. Exactly. This is a limited time thing. You know, we were invited by Disney themselves. Yeah, we were invited um, by Walt Elias Disney himself. I know, like he rose from the dead and said to us, I want to give you a pass because I want you to review my park. I want you to see what I have done. And we were like, oh my God, okay. <laughs> and how, I mean, how could we say no? Exactly. We're offered a sponsorship, of course. Exactly. Like Walt Disney himself. What is up guys? Time Travel 65 here with Foransters. <laughs> <laughs> so today, um, we are going to go ride Splash Mountain for the final time, and then we're also going to do some Star Wars Land stuff that we haven't been able to do since it opened, and then also we're going to try and hit Toontown. Ducks. Ducks. Where? Oh, Ducks. I see them. Maybe they're the ones that uh, sleep in our pool. No, these ducks are professionally trained. You can't just let any duck in here. <laughs> All right, it's time to check the map again, see if anything has changed. Oh, 10 minute wait. Oh, dude, it's cold. Not to mention it's the beginning of the day, so if your feet get all soft and wet. That's exactly what we want. We gotta, we gotta save our spot in queue. You may get wet. A little bit of an exaggeration, if you ask me. Take a picture of it. Chiku! Oh, the duck just chilling on the ride. I grabbed some pictures. Sorry. <laughs> so they're going to be changing this whole queue area. Guys, you want to fix your part of the drop? We can. <laughs> All right, you ready? You have the longer arms. Okay. Oh, well, get out of there. Yeah, we can do it. Okay. All right, there we go. Hi. All right, Hi. here we go. Here to say our farewells. I'm totally expecting this area to change, but also I really don't want the aesthetic to change. Don't wear ponchos! <laughs> because it is in the morning. Lippity 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 oh, this is definitely not 10 minutes. If it stopped up there, it's like 20. Bro, you're gonna kill your girlfriend. Yep, that's kind of the plan. Don't touch. Tell didn't just happen yesterday, no, the day before, but long, long ago. It was one of those zippity doo da days. And they came up in their mouth with a song jumping right out. That's what it says. Baby. Baby. But what about? He's got a big puppy what about a statue? Baby. Big Where'd he puppy go? I don't see him. He's going for the corner. You can't miss him. He's wearing a dress. Oh, I see him now. <laughs> Oh, 
the dead section right here. Huh? What do you think they're gonna do with the dead section right here? They're gonna put a, they're gonna make it the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, they got a camera in that box. They just saw. The restaurant. In the dead patch? No. I don't think it was me. How did you manage? Because I put my hands between the uh, straps of my backpack and I'm holding onto the bars. And my backpack is strapped across the front of me. Bro, my thighs are too thick. <laughs> Let's see them go down. Hi guys! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I really should have taken the wrist, the wrist strap instead. There we go, our first strap. Slip and falls. Woo! Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here it comes. Oh, 
me a Vogue. Zippity do da, zippity do. My camera is soaked on the front. <laughs> Jeans are soaked. So we just got out of Splash Mountain. Grant soaked, clearly. <laughs> but uh, even though the queue time said uh, 20 minutes, it was actually 30. So stand, I think standing outside the building is gonna get you anywhere uh, upwards of 25 minutes. How are we going? Where are we going? 
but we're going to uh, Galaxy's Edge. And now we enter in Galaxy's Edge. <clears throat> this is the entrance. Oh, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> All right, now that we stepped over that crack right there, we are officially in Galaxy's Edge. All right, so this is the standby queue for Rise. The, the back side, at least. So we gotta go find our way towards the front. Oh, there it is. Oh, that is a fat lie right there. That cannot be 35. Are you ready to take an intergalactic fleet? It would be nice with dry pants. Just saying. Security. Woohoo! Two hands, arms, 
feet and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. They're coming back from this uh, from the exit. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? Good. Now get a move. Oh, I get it. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> You. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the those are the prisoners. Did to you? No! Is that what that drop did to you? No! 
right, I know we're a little late to the party, but we got, uh, honestly, I forget what this is. We got the puff pastry, um, and we also got the special blue milk. Do you want to taste it first? I'll taste it first. It's got nerds in it, I believe. Does it taste like blue milk? Yup. Well, that's because you didn't get any of the flavoring on the side. Well, you have to get to that point in the drink. It's like syrup on the side. No, you're definitely a nice ad. I just pulled. Oh, okay. How's it taste? Like pan dulce. Pan dulce? Mm-hmm. So was that sweet bread? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that definitely tastes like pan dulce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really good. But it's also covered in something else. I got something like sticky, almost like a honey yeah. on my fingers. So yeah, it is a little messy. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that blue milk? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does it taste like blue raspberry? Or what does yours taste like? Mine tastes really sweet because it has uh, nerds in it as well as I think some sort of raspberry uh, okay. raspberry dripping what on the sides. Because like? we got some at the canteen and I was like, oh, this is like a blue raspberry. Yeah, it has yeah. a little bit of blue raspberry milk. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, same thing. You could. <laughs> I definitely recommend this to anyone that wants a sweeter taste uh, for their blue milk. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to taste it with uh, the raspberry or whatever it is. Uh, now peeking out there. What are your thoughts? Yeah, it sweetens it. I can't exactly tell how. It's almost like a raspberry taste. Yeah. But it's different from what people have been saying that's in the cantina. I, we have not been to the cantina. I would not know what's in the cantina. I find it funny that people are coming up and asking us. Because this is only avail uh, available for mobile order, I believe. The only one I'm not entirely sure because uh, I know mobile order still isn't a big thing right now, so it's really affecting what's being uh, sold and what's being uh, and what's not being sold. So I do like that there are some options hidden behind mobile ordering, just to sort of reward you. Yeah, reward you for using the app. And there was actually no wait on this. I get. I sat down, put in the food order. It's like, yeah, let us know when you're here. I said, yeah, I'm here. And two minutes later, it's like, your food ready. All right, taking us over to Frontierland. We're gonna go try the fruity cereal churro. Oh, I'm not talking to you. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I am. We're gonna go try the fruity cereal churro. So she said it was in front of the Golden Horseshoe. All right. All right, what are your thoughts? They're yeah. hot. That means it's fresh. These look good. Which I've actually taken a bite or? What? Have you actually taken a bite? Yes. Oh, what do you think? I like it because it's both sweet, but there's something a little sour. Sour? Yeah. Oh, you're right, there is something sour in there. That's wild. Of course, there's always my way.
Child on the inside. You, you are the small child. I am taller than you. You think it's a tripod right here? I would not. <laughs>
plans and see what happens. Hope you don't have any other plans. <laughs> well, dang, big niggers. Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> All right, so we just got off uh, Mickey Minions Runaway Railway. What were your thoughts on it? Uh, it's Goofy! Goofy! We just rode his train. Like he ruined and crashed. <laughs> but it's okay, we don't need to tell him. Anyway, you were, you were saying? Uh, we were tossed like salad the entire time. I was not <laughs> expecting that. Neither was the lady next to me. She turned to me and she's like, wow, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was like, neither was I. Neither was I. I don't. I don't think the camera caught it because of uh, like the stability on the GoPro. Uh, I didn't see any any like jolting on it. But it is a lot rougher than I originally thought it was gonna be. Yeah. YouTube videos do not do this right justice. I haven't worn these sunglasses in forever. Overall, though, what do you think of the aesthetic of just being in the cartoon? What do you think, uh, how do you think they pulled off the... Thank you. <laughs> how do you think they pulled off the uh, 3D, 2D style? Especially... Just, I mean, this is just me personally. Like, I feel like the 3D Mickey people were just very jarring and like... How do I, I don't know. It just was very, you could tell. Like, what was 3D and what was 2D? Well, yeah. Like, you could tell like the, where the projection sat. Yeah. But overall, though, I don't think it was too bad. Like, I think the Imagineers did a really good job uh, managing to convert a 2D cartoon into uh, into what's it called a 3D environment. Yeah. 